there are times where you're going to need to look for pictures and you don't have any idea of when you shot them, but you have all of this other information that you could possibly use to find the shot. How do you use that to find the shot? Well, you'll notice that at the very, very top, you have a library filter, right? If you hit the backslash, you can turn that off and on. Now, inside of here, you can search by text or attribute, right? Text, you would put in a specific text and you can search by that. If you go to attribute, you can search by, you know, whether or not you have pics or ratings or colors. But here's a section called metadata. And I tend to use this a lot more than I probably give it credit. What this does is it lets you select a series of different columns for you to see metadata information. Now, right now, I have all of my dates. So if I wanted to see all of the pictures that I did in 2012, I could show that. If I wanted to see the pictures that I did in 2005, I can show that. The ones that I did in 2007, I can show that. I'm gonna set to all dates. And this shows me a bunch of different cameras that I've worked with, right? Now, if I wanted to see everything that I did on an Icon D300, I can show that. If I wanted to see what I did on a T6i, I could show that, right? So you can switch through that. But further, one of the things that I think is kind of cool is if I wanted to show all the things that I did with an 18 and 55, well, I can go to those pictures. If I wanted to show stuff that I did with a 24 to 70, well, I could show those pictures. So sometimes I don't remember what it is. So I'm like, oh man, I think I used the Coolpix A. All right, what do I have for that? Oh, that's what it was. So it'll show you and it'll filter all of that information out. Now, you're just not limited to all of this stuff here. You could always just click on the drop down and notice that you can select a bunch of different things that sit here, right? Shutter speed. Show me all of the pictures that I did at two second exposures. Click on that. Those are all of the pictures that I have that are two second exposures. Very different. Now, I'm gonna single click on this and I'm gonna go to ISO. Show me all of the extreme pictures that I did, 4,500 ISO, these two. So at the end of the day, if you need to find a shot and you don't kind of know when, go to the metadata. It's going to be a great way for you to look for it.